All right, Sean, where are we going? <clears throat> We're gonna go get a burrito, and I believe, what is it, an hour away with traffic? We're driving an hour for a breakfast burrito. Oh my. Are we crazy or not? I don't know. Our morning is starting with the tightest turn out of a <laughs> garage I've ever experienced. Look at this tight turn that Sean has to take. I'm actually standing outside to uh, ensure that nothing is hit on the way out. <laughs> We made it. The Jeep has survived. We made it. We're out and about, in route. Breakfast burritos are so close, I can almost taste them. Oh man, I look great for some breakfast burritos. Me too, we look a little rough this morning. Okay, so we are actually in Los Angeles. We traveled here from Orlando. And the number one thing that I wanted to do when I came was come get this breakfast burrito. It's about an hour away from our Airbnb in North Hollywood. It's in Hermosa Beach at a place called Barron's 2239. And this is a Michelin guide restaurant. So we are about to eat a Michelin guide breakfast burrito that has been dubbed the best breakfast burrito in the country. I'm so psyched. I can't wait to try it. Sean, I, I actually said to Sean, I was like, he was down for it and then like, Last week, I was like, Sean, are we crazy? Should we actually do this? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So. I'm more down for the beach. Now knowing that it's right next to the water just even made it more exciting. So it's, it's right in Hermosa Beach. Burritos, it's about an hour from us. The beach, and, uh, double Bs, that's all you need. Burritos and beach. So it's actually kind of hard to get your hands on one of these breakfast burritos. What you have to do is message them on Instagram on Wednesday to place your order for the weekend. They only sell them on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and they serve them in a limited quantity. They sell out every day, and people, from what I hear, people are lining up for them. So I messaged them on Instagram on Wednesday, place my order for today, and uh, the moment of truth, I don't know, we'll see if it's the best breakfast burrito I've ever had. Yep. Oh, I see it. Here we are pulling on in, Barron's 2239. Well, we have officially made it to Barron's 2239. Getting ready to head inside and pick up our breakfast burritos. It's located in just like a small little strip mall here. And I'm telling you, I have seen so many TikToks about this place. I think the first one I saw was from Matt James, uh, The Bachelor. He went here and loved it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so psyched to try this out. Well, the bag has been secured. It's pretty heavy. We got quite a few breakfast burritos in there. Uh, let's check them out. Here I am, forcing right down Main Street to live the LA lifestyle. I like become an LA girly, burritos and beach. Who said this was an LA lifestyle? Eat your burritos on the beach. This is the Come first on. time I've heard of this. <laughs> I think one of us is the expert here. Thank you very much. I think they need blankets or chairs here. Chris I agree. Agree. You're not, you're, nobody's getting propped up blankets or chairs on a beach. It's a beach. That, hey. Blankets and chair. chairs is my kind of beach. I Actually, beach I don't even beach. I have a beach in my car at home in Florida anytime because you never know. You go to the beach, you need a beach chair. Well, smart. Smart living. Okay, well, look who <laughs> I have dragged out with me to get some breakfast burritos. Juliet is here. She's never. She lives, like, what, 15 minutes away from this place and you've never heard of it? Uh, no, and not until you sent me that TikTok. And Sean, obviously, has received multiple TikToks about this. And Juliet! What? Are what we, are you wearing? I'm in pants right now. Well, because I'm living my relaxed LA well, lifestyle. Right now. I have never seen Juliet. I've only seen Juliet wear pants one other time. Yeah. So this is like, let me document this real quick. Okay. It's, it's Sunday angles. morning. It's a lazy Sunday morning. <laughs> All right. I really don't like the beach. I don't like the sand. I don't like swimming with creatures. So, uh,. It's an interesting time. I didn't agree to this. I was just brought here. Okay, so our options for breakfast burrito were the basics. So you could either choose bacon, chorizo, or just like veggie or no meat. I heard the no veggie's meat. good. There was a lot of people getting You hear the veggie veggie's good? Side. Okay, yeah. I, I know I know. I saw on uh, TikTok that they used to have like a cheeseburger one, which sounded really good. But we got, we got all of them to try. Juliet is trying the veggie, and then I got Sean and I a chorizo and a bacon to try. Okay, so they also come with salsas. They come with green salsa and then a, a Apparently a smoky red salsa. I was trying to get all of our first reactions and this one already bit one. What do you so think? It's actually really freaking good. This is like... Oh wow. It's nice and toasty. It's like cheesy. The eggs in there, the potatoes, everything's perfect in here. I want to I dump yeah, some salsa. Yeah, thanks for waiting. Sorry, I mean, sorry, <laughs> I was hungry. 
do a, do a regular bite here. Regular bite first. first. So I told Kristen the only way we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it on the, by the water. Juliet literally took that to heart, and we're almost touching the water at this point. <laughs> this is the chorizo one. Are the are your taste buds tingling? <laughs> Honestly, this is really good. I can't wait to put the sauce on it because I think it's going to enhance the experience even more. I'm not sure because I love eating food by the beach. I'm not sure this is a real thing, but growing up, I'm going to tell a story right now. I feel like growing up by the beach and we'd have a lot of sandwiches. And for some reason, those sandwiches would always hit right by the beach. I'm not sure it was the water, the salt air, but it's good. For some reason, this burrito slapped and you got to eat it on the beach because I feel like there's no other way. I feel like if I ate it over there, it would not taste as good. Salsa bite. Oh, the sauces. The sauces enhance it more. Exactly what I thought, exactly what happened. This is amazing. Okay, so I have unwrapped my first burrito. You can. I've unwrapped my first burrito. This is the chorizo one that we're going to try first. Just like Juliet and Sean, I'm going to try this without salsa first, and then we'll put the salsa in later. First bite, bre best breakfast burrito in the world. Inside this breakfast burrito, we have eggs, house chorizo, a blend of cheese, tater tots, and green onions, all wrapped up in a flour tortilla served with two sides of salsa. The hype is real. Oh my God. That is so good. That chorizo in there is like a little smoky, a little spicy. It's such a great flavor. The tortilla, delicious. I mean, this is everything I want in a breakfast burrito. Now we're gonna add some of that green salsa in there. Oops, I accidentally spilled it all over the burrito. Let's try it. Mm. I love green salsa. I love like the flavor of the cilantro and the tomatillo and a green salsa. It is honestly perfect in this breakfast burrito. 10 out of 10 would recommend driving an hour for a breakfast burrito. Everything is really good, but I feel like the real game changer here is the tortilla. The tortilla is fantastic. I wanna get a bite here with the red salsa. Try this one in there. Oh yeah. Damn, you think it's the best breakfast burrito you ever had? I think this might be the best breakfast burrito in LA and I've eaten a fair share of them. I just like, I can't get over how fluffy the eggs are. Like, yeah. oh, it's oh, so yeah. good. Yeah, and both the salsas are also like, when I originally put my order in on Wednesday, I, I ordered myself and Sean three burritos. And Sean is like, what are you doing? We're not going to need all them. I was like, Sean, we're driving an, an hour to get there, and these are supposed to be the best breakfast burritos. We're going to want more than one. And I'm very happy we did, because this guy's already, he was sniffing mine, and I was like, Sean, I got an extra. We still got to break it open. So we still haven't tried the bacon one. Go grab it. Let's, let's uh, break into it. Yeah, we'll go a little burrito slap. Yo, what? You gotta test the firmness of burrito. You never, <laughs> you never slapped your burrito? No. Okay. <laughs> First, I don't know how I'm gonna rip this in half. How are you gonna rip this in half? I don't know. Right we we forgot knives. I guess unwrap it and then I just tear want a it. Bite. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna... I don't want more than like. There's no way I want more than half, so that's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. I need a close up of this actually. To see how poorly this is gonna go. Are you guys? Oh my god, no. Oh, this is working. This worked. Oh my god. Wow. No knives. Yes. This is the bacon. Oh, look at all the tater tots in there. It's not a clean cut. You couldn't surgically reattach it, but. Alrighty, time for the bacon. I feel like my half has like a lot of tater tots and not a lot of other stuff, so we'll see. Yeah, that's what I thought, right? Well, this is still really good. The chorizo just adds a level of flavor that is so much better than the bacon. The chorizo is the way to go for sure. The eggs in these burritos are fluffy, the meat is juicy, the tater tots are crispy, and the salsa just kicks it up even more. Come get these. Now we are 
truly living like Californians. Top down in the Jeep. Driving up the coast, right, Sean? This is my dream. Driving up the coast. Where's Nate? Well, we took a drive up the coast like Sean has always wanted to do. He always says, we're gonna rent a Jeep and drive up the coast. So we finally got to, got to do that. And yeah, we had ourselves a great day. I definitely say that breakfast burrito was the best I've ever had and I'm very happy we drove that far to grab it. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined my Patreon. Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Abdullah, Misty, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Kara, Angela, Dustin and Nancy, John Paul, Leah, Tracy, Logo, Armando, the Latham Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, Danielle, Marcel, and Erica. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll have more California adventures coming your way. Bye guys.